Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercard. This is episode 137. Two days after, well, one day after this update's come out, um, and we are in the battleground. As you guys know from yesterday's video, we're in the prep phase. It is exciting, it's new, I'm, I'm really pumped for this. Um, and there's a lot of things going down right now for me in Supercard, and probably for a lot of people. I've got King of the Ring, we've got Battleground going on, we've got the RTG for Bailey going on, um, Fusion is going on, I, that's not really important, but no. I'm excited right now, hopefully you guys are as well. We're going to get straight in to a bit of um, Battleground to show you guys what's going on and to maybe explain a couple of things for people who haven't quite understood everything about it. So for the next like three or four minutes, it's going to be t kind of expl explanation of what I've gathered so far and understood. So th 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 this, this team Battleground, I'm, I'm guessing it's a two day, like 24 hours and then 24 hours, like a two day, a two kind of part event um, for your team. So it's new, it's something we've never actually had before, uh, which is exciting. So when you start one off, you're gonna get a bunch of cards, uh, and those cards will be completely random, they're not gonna be based off your tier, they're not gonna be based off anything, they're gonna be random. And I obviously got so unlucky, because you, as you can tell, um, I got pretty shit cards. I mean, I got three Hardens, two Elites, and an Ultimate. And let's go on our team and show you guys how everyone's doing. Um, so yeah, I have maxed it out with my charges, okay? And there are people like, like the yeah, third, the beast, okay? He's not even maxed out, and he's already on like four thousand three hundred deck score. I've been maxed out, and I'm not even on three thousand, which is really quite funny. But if you click on him, you can actually see his deck. He's got really lucky with three WrestleMania cards, two ultimates and an elite compared to my three hardens, two elites and one ultimate. The person with the best cards who got the luckiest is actually VZH. Uh, as you can see, three WrestleManias and three ultimates, really lucky. Hope no one noticed that lisp about 10 seconds back there. If you, if you did, just pretend I didn't do that. <laughs> and then our opponent's team, um, who actually, at this Ali the Great Boy, has actually a better um, has better cards than Visa H if, if I've got this right. Because you can see the points here. What, what that means, and what I think that means, I'm pretty sure, so don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure this is what it is. You have all these points next to everyone's name. So, whoever's got the highest amount of points, which is Visa H, he does have the best deck. Second is, I think it's joint with the Beast and Flame. Uh, he's also got a pretty good deck with two WrestleManias and four Ultimates. Uh, and then the Beast with the three WrestleManias, the two Ultimates, and the Elite. Um, I'd I'd say the Beast's a little bit better, um, but he does that have Elite. And then um, Flame does have that Ultimate. Um, but it's pretty much it's pretty much like they're both they're both pretty decent. Um, but as you can see, I've got seventy six points, which means yes, I do have the worst deck. Um, not only the worst deck on my team, I've got the worst deck out of both teams. Which is pretty sad. But this team is, I think, in like, they're, they're really low tier, as you can tell. A lot of people are like, they have super res, like single survivor. So we should be able to win this. Um, what you want to do is in the prep phase, you just want to play wild mode or, or Royal Rumble, those kind of things. We want to get a lot of picks. RTG is perfect right now, as it, that's out. And you will get charges once um, once you go on your draft board. I think, you know, it happens every now and again. You'll get what you'll get a couple. And with those charges, you want to charge up your cards, okay? So, I've already completed all of them, I've already maxed them all out. You can charge the, every, all of them to with, with uh, 20 charges, I think. So that's pretty good, I've done all of that. Um, Flame's also done it, D2's also maxed out. So is um, Fatboy is also maxed out. I'm maxed out. Um, and then you have people like Sarah, he's halfway done. Nick's all halfway done. Super JT's halfway done, which is good, because last time I checked, Super JT was like bottom. Uh, VZH, as he has got the best deck, he really, really needs to get a move on with only 7 hours left because he, people should be uh, completely maxed out by now. Not not by now, but I mean should be getting completely maxed um, in, this, in, in the time, in the 24 hours prep phase, people should get um, the 120 charges. That should be fairly doable for a lot of people. 
So that is Team Battleground. So as you see, in seven hours, we move on to, well, in eight hours, so let's say, uh, we move on to, like, the proper uh, fighting stages. What that means is, and what, again, what I've gathered, with, again, these points next to your names. So let's say I want to face off against um, Doc Red. Okay, he has got the lowest cards in his team, a um, bit like me, but I've got even worse. So the thing is, it's going to be very hard for me to get any points unless they don't completely charge up. Um, because what? So if I do attack this Doc Red and I win, I'm going to get 85 points for my team. If I face off Ali the Great Boy and somehow I win, I'm going to get 106 points for the team. 116, sorry. If I face off Johnny and win, I'm going to get 104 points for the team. Pretty simple, yeah? So it could be that, or it could be if I attack and I win, I will, if I, what, if I fight them, I will get the 76 points. But I don't think it's that, I think it's more the first thing. So let's say um, Ali the Great Boy, he wants to attack... Uh, let's say me because I've got the worst deck and you can get an easy win on me he thinks then he's only gonna get 76 points for beating me but if he wants to beat VZH and he does beat VZH he's gonna get 115 points for that win instead of 76 points for that win so it's gonna all come down to whether who uses all their charges who doesn't uh, the amount of if you grind or not because let's remember this team is a very low tier team but that doesn't mean that they're not gonna grind um, you know, that, that, that kind of means they're just going to want, you know, they're going to want the win, they're going to try their best, but maybe their best isn't going to be good enough, um, because obviously our team is a lot superior than their team, but this new mode makes it very even between two completely unbalanced teams, but because of this game mode, and it because it, cause it doesn't take your cards uh, in your deck, in your deck, like your deck cards or anything, it's completely random the cards it gives you, that's what I really like about this game mode, and it's going to give so many possibilities to have so many fun uh, battle team. Like, imagine, like, us coming up against, like, Biggie Dude's team. That would be amazing. It'd be so much fun. And I'm really looking forward to this, um, well, to the attack stage of this event in seven hours. So hopefully VZH, um, yeah, VZH really needs to use all of his charges. I'm, I'll send him a message later. Um... Not too worried right now. Seven hours is plenty of time to get it. I'm currently four and four in my King of the Ring as well. Uh, it started off amazing. Well, started off good. Uh, getting two wins back to back. Doesn't normally happen in WrestleMania King of the Ring, so I was quite happy with that. Then we got a loss, another loss, another loss, and another loss. But thank God I was asleep for that, so I didn't even notice. I woke up, got the win there, got the win there after after re-energizing. But it was against two and six and two and six, so not too much credit there. We're going to see if we can win... The next two games, that will be a good test to see whether if we can compete for this um, this King of the Ring. We'll probably will be able to compete for this King of the Ring because it's just going to be down again to luck, really. Whether his cards proc or mine proc or if if it calls speed for my HBK and he's got Brock. Or if it calls toughness for his Brock and I've got HBK. or if it, It's all going to come down to that, really, at this point um, in this tier. But anyway, enough rambling on and talking. Now let's get into some... RTG. I want to. I know. I say this every time there's an RTG, or pretty much every time it's an event. But mostly when there's RTG, I really want to try and get it done as soon as possible. Um, so I, I will be streaming today. I'm not too sure when exactly, but I will be streaming 100%. It's been too long since I've last streamed. It has been way too long since I've last streamed. So I'll definitely be streaming today. Um, and I will try and get a, get a fixed date for my 12 hour stream so you guys can uh, so can know in advance But I'll probably be doing it either this weekend or um, Some point during the next week, but I kind of want to do it on a weekend Because it obviously it obviously is much better for a lot of people if I do it on a weekend when you don't have school um, Those kind of things or you know, I mean people can still have work on on the weekends, but Sometimes you'll have, you know, your days off on the weekend. So hopefully it kind of fits for everyone if I do it on a weekend. I'm thinking I'm thinking on a Saturday. But then again, I want to do something with my Saturday. Not that... Oh, God, that voice crack. Not that um, streaming for 12 hours isn't doing something with my day. It's just I don't want to be sat inside um, my house on the most... On the best day of the week. You know what I mean? It's like it's a bit of a waste of the day. 
because um, I want to get out, you know, I want to go out, see some friends, do something, not just, you know, I, I love streaming, but it's not, it's not the streaming for 12 hours that I don't like part, it's the, it's the part where I just stay inside doing supercard for 12 hours straight. So no, I'll try, I will try and figure it out, um, maybe we'll do it on like a Friday night, but again, Friday night, it's like Friday night, uh, or maybe we'll just do it on a Sunday, you know, on the Lord's Day. I think we might do it on Sunday. You know what? Sunday, I think, is a good day. Sunday is normally just a chill, more of a chilled back day anyway. And uh, it's still a weekend, so I think I think Sunday is a good day. I think we'll do it Sunday. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll confirm it later for you guys, but maybe maybe Sunday. So, mail tag. Let's go with Ken Shamrock, Cedric Alexander to get this win. I'll be right back, guys. Give me just a second. Alright guys, sorry about that, we are back, we did actually get the win in the game, 11-0, obviously it's not like we're really in trouble of losing any games at this stage, but uh, still nice to get that perfect win, it's a bit hard not to get the perfect win though, anyway, 5 picks left, it should be, I should, should, no actually, no, oh my god, you know what guys, I haven't even mentioned it in my last video, and I'm thinking about it, and in my video before that, I hadn't got it yet, so it, you guys will be able to see it if you have if you've noticed it probably you've noticed it because it was in the last video I think it was in the last it was in the last two videos and still I haven't mentioned it that's insane okay so a couple of days back I was just playing I pulled a couple of ultimates like like on a couple like not too many resets apart pulled an elite I was pulling a lot of good cards you know like it was decent you know and I was I was definitely in due for, uh, due to my pull uh, due for my pull. And I was expecting, I was definitely expecting it, but who I got was actually really fun. I oh, was well, fun. I, I I was very happy with who I got. Um, just look on the overlay if you if you want to see who I got, but I will show the card really quickly with the image of who I got. Um, and that is Sasha Banks. So that is my second diva now. I'm actually happy with that. Really, really happy with that. Because you guys know in a thousand games, I've got my diva ladder award. So we've, we've just increased our chance by two. <laughs> well... We've increased our chance because we had the Bailey. Now we've got another one in Sasha Banks. So really cool. I love this picture on her, by the way. Really, really like this picture on her. I'm pretty sure it's her... It's her... SummerSlam. It's a SummerSlam picture on her. I really like the pink hair. It really kind of glows. Well, it kind of like sticks out. It looks nice. She looks hot as fuck on this picture. So it's all good, really. You know, check, check, check in every box. I mean, getting a female is pretty good already. Um, so yeah, I, I want Becky Lynch to be fair, Becky Lynch would be a, a good Wrestlemania card to get. Um, I can, that's, that's who I think, like, someone asked me on Discord a couple days ago who I think I was going to get in my ladder reward. Um, I could definitely see myself getting that Becky Lynch. But anyway, we're in game 9 right now, this King of the Ring, hopefully we get the win here. We're not fully energised, so it'll be interesting to see if we can. And let's get into game 2 on this Survivor Neville. Oh, it is going to be quite a grind. I'm not. I don't really care about this. I mean, of course, I care about the RTG, but um, it's. I haven't even shown. I did. Did I even do a preview of the RTG on yesterday's video? I don't even know. Um, but basically, like at right at the beginning, when I logged on onto the game, I went onto the RTG, and the WrestleMania card was none other than Dean Ambrose. And as you guys know, Dean Ambrose was in the RTG for the Brock Lesnar, and um, it would have been a pro for me. And then. I log out, it's all good, game was a little bit glitchy, there was a little, little. it was straight after the update, so it was alright, I came back on like 15, 20, maybe a bit, maybe a little bit longer than that, go back onto the RTG, and what do I see, no, Dean Ambrose, it is Chris Jericho, so I'm happy it's Chris Jericho, because I like Chris Jericho, it's not a pro for me though, Dean would have been a pro for me, so it's yet another single, which is in Insane how many singles I've gotten. Like, why can I not get any more pros? I know I got lucky with that Braun Strowman, but I want pros. I need more pros. Need more pros. I know I've got a nice amount of WrestleMania pros already. It's just with all the singles I've got, I should I should have got I should I should have more pros by now. So hopefully I can be lucky and in whatever if we hopefully hopefully we win. Um, this team battleground, and that's going to give me a WrestleMania card. So that's going to be really cool. <laughs> that is going to be awesome. I can't believe it. W like that's going to that's going to help out so much. 
Not only that, with your battle points, if you if you have 10,000, you can redeem it for a single. If you have 30,000, you can redeem it for a pro, which is really good. Um, it's I, Right now, I would say if you're at the kind of same stage I am, don't pay 30,000 battle points for the pro. Get like three singles and you're probably going to get a pro with those three singles. I mean, if right now, if I were to like... If I had 30,000 battle points and I would get... If I'd redeem those for three WrestleMania pulls, if one of those wasn't a pro... That'd be mental. That'd be absolutely mental. It, it, it could, it literally, it could obviously happen, but there aren't many chances. And that, uh, uh, oh God, it could be if I got like John Cena, Finn Balor, and and like Brock Lesnar, that would that would work. But as I mentioned, and I will keep mentioning, I am really not far from completing uh, at least getting all like singles in the WrestleMania catalog. So, um, superstar-wise, not Divas, but superstar-wise, I'm missing John Cena, Brock Lesnar, Finn Balor. I'm definitely missing more, but not that many more. Undertaker. And that's pretty much it. A Roman Reigns. I'm missing, so Asuka, Alex Bliss don't count, Becky Lynch doesn't count, Brock, sorry, Brock Lesnar, Chris Jericho, Finn Balor, that's three, four, five, six, seven with Sami Zayn, and then eight with The Undertaker. So eight, and it would be seven once I've got Jericho, and it would have been six if I'd have got The Undertaker. I, 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 I remember now, I, I've, I've said those exact words in either yesterday's or the day before's videos. Um, in one of those two videos I've already said those exact words, but it's true, it's true. Like, imagine saying I've only got like six more to get, but no, I've got eight, seven once I get Jericho, so. It'll be okay. There's a lot of those ones I don't have that I really want, like a lot of those are like the really good kind of cards, especially like the John Cena, the Brock Lesnar, the Undertaker. Um, those are cards obviously I really want to get so hopefully we can get lucky you know hopefully we can get lucky in um, in in this battleground mode either a single or a pro at this point would be good because look it, as much as I'm gonna go on and be like oh my god it's another single eventually I can't be saying that anymore because it's, it's just a matter of time until it's a pro for me um, I can definitely see the next event being for like or Kevin Owens, I can def like Kevin Owens, it could be a Kevin Owens like the next event, that would be another single, or a Finn Balor, that would be another single, so I can, I can see that happening, but as I said, it is just a matter of time until um, we do, I get the pro. Anyway, um, Jeff Hardy's and Matt Hardy's animations have now been added into the game, you've just seen Jeff Hardy's if you, uh, if you were looking at the screen there, um, pretty cool, especially Jeff Hardy's, Jeff Hardy's looks amazing. They both got that uh, kind of logo on the apron, which that looks cool. Um, but yeah, finally they've added that in. Good timing, good timing with this. It was it was good, but it, they look they look great. They look a little bit late to to bring it into the game. I mean, it's more exciting if like straight off the bat you get the animation. But they, they they're in the game now. Swanton Bomb, Twist of Fate. I was gonna say Twist of Hate there. That's from back in the days in TNA. Twist of Hate. It was a cool name. It was a cool name for it, to be fair. It was, it was a cool name. All right, let's go with that Randy Orton. Should, should, will get the win. don't even know why I'm taking that much time. I can just spam. What I like is we're on the Survivor card. I'm in WrestleMania++. Plus Plus. Just spam these cards. We're coming up against rares and uncommons. It's, it's not too much of a threat for now. So we should be all good on that. Um... This is my third day in a row uploading a supercard video. I think you guys should be impressed. <laughs> you guys. Finally. Finally, it seems like I'm getting back on track with this. It finally seems like I'm getting back on track. So that's cool. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, for the team and all of that, if you guys still want to join the team uh, and you're in WrestleMania 33 or WrestleMania 33 Plus, 33 Plus Plus, um, as long as you have a full team deck, um, maybe apart from the female, but if you get the Bailey, that'd be a lot better. Um, this event Bailey Pro, but yeah, if you have a good deck and you have got some of those WrestleMania 33 pros and you want to join the team, 
um, just hit me up on Twitter with a picture of your either your Team RTG or no, it has to be yeah, more like Team RTG's Team RTG's where it's at really. Show me a picture of how many points you got in your Team RTG, preferably the last one um, if you have that. And yeah, like just to, you know, show that you're a grinder because obviously that's what we're looking for. Having good cars, that's one thing, but we also need to make sure that players are active, especially now with this new. Uh, battleground mode added in the game so that is going to be very important anyway let's go with this really quickly should get that i keep saying i should get the win i don't know why i keep saying that it's not like i'm going to actually lose anyway let me quickly get one or two words on both raw and smackdown i thought raw was actually a really good show um it, it was it was actually good i enjoyed it it wasn't you know it was it was it was not as shit as it usually was but I, I yeah i definitely enjoyed it there were some good matches I definitely enjoyed the main event between Finn Balor, The Miz, and Seth Rollins. I thought that was excellent. Uh, very happy that The Miz got the win, and it makes sense, obviously, because Finn Balor's in with the feud with Bray, as he obviously interfered, as you can saw, you saw by that. And um, AJ Styles and Kevin Owens. Oh, wait, 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 that's <laughs> just waiting on SmackDown there, didn't we? No, that, that's not right. Um, Finn Balor, Seth Rollins is in a feud with Joe, and that's why he interfered. That all makes sense, and then the only one who kind of was before in a feud with um, with Dean Ambrose, was The Miz, so it makes sense now that they're going to feud for the Intercontinental Championship. Hopefully, The Miz does win and become a seven-time Intercontinental Champion. That'd be really cool. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, yeah, let's go on to SmackDown really quickly, because I did think Raw was good. SmackDown was a little bit of a letdown, personally. Um, no, no Nakamura... No Nakamura. Well, it's, like, you know, it's okay not to see Nakamura every week. I get that. That's good. That, that, that is okay. It makes him feel more special when we do get to see him. I get that point of view. Fair enough. Um, but AJ Styles wasn't in a match. Uh, um, or was he? Oh, God. Don't quote me on that. Was he? No, he wasn't in a match, was he? He wasn't. Um, so, yeah, that, again, I didn't think was great. And then the... The finish to SmackDown was obviously yeah okay so that's that's what we'll get to. Anything else I need to cover on on the on SmackDown? Yeah, the whole welcoming committee and this whole Charlotte, Becky, Naomi thing. So I'm guessing they're turning Charlotte face or a tweener for now. I don't really know. Does it make a lot of sense? Maybe not, but I do I do quite like where this is going. They've got like all the divas in it at least. You know there's. At least they're doing something with everyone, even like yes, Tamina. So it's it, that, I don't I don't mind it. Hopefully it doesn't go on for too long because it, it it hasn't got. Oh, we just got an elite there. It is it, it doesn't have a lot of um, really like. I mean, Carmella is really the only one who is good at this point. She's not really amazing, is she? I mean, Tamina's not relevant. Natalia, by all means, isn't relevant and not really good in that. Oh, just poor Natalia. Um, and I. Natalia and Tamina, not not fantastic. And then Car Carmella's the only one who's, you know, upcoming. She she can definitely be a good diva in the future. Um, in the near future as well, if they, if they uh, you know, kind of build it up right and all of that. But this whole faction, kind of this welcoming committee, it's, gonna, it's okay for now. If it goes on for too long, it's definitely going to start um, feeling like like it's really shit. And it, and it should feel already like it's shit, but it, it doesn't yet. I mean... With a faction with Natalia and Tamina in it, saying it's not complete shit is, is saying something. So, for now it's okay. Hopefully they don't overdo it and um, they don't take this feud for a long time. Because eventually they should definitely build up Charlotte versus Becky Lynch or um, Charlotte and Naomi. Uh, so they, they need to do something there. Becky Lynch, Charlotte versus Naomi, a triple threat would be interesting. Maybe Fatal 4-Way with Carmella, but... Maybe you know, maybe just stick to one-on-ones with Divas from now for a little bit because we've had all that WrestleMania hype with those 24 women. So, yeah, it's okay for now. I'll leave it at that. But, yeah, let's move on to the main event. Kevin Owens versus Y2J. Rematch, like, the fifth match, fourth match. They've had um, third. It's the third, fourth. Third or fourth match. I think it's the fourth, actually. Um, third. I don't... It doesn't matter. Um, but it was... It was... It was... Um, it was an okay match. Again, they haven't they they haven't really put on an amazing amazing match ever since they've got into this feud with each other. Um, 
I'll probably get a bit of hate for that, but I don't think any of their matches was excellent. I think two of them were good. One of them was better than good, but none of them were like... That was such a good wrestling match, you see what I mean? But anyway, um, Y2J versus Jericho. <laughs> Y2J versus Kevin Owens. Uh, the win actually, spoiler alert again, I, it's a bit late to mention spoiler alert, but... It, as it was only a couple nights ago, um, I, I will put a spoiler in there. So yeah, uh, Kevin Owens did get the win. Is the new um, US champ? I was going to say Intercontinental. That is the new US champ. So that's good. Um, as much as I liked Kevin Owens, um, as, as much liked Chris Jericho as US champ, uh, I'm pretty sure yeah he's definitely going in May on tour. I thought he was going to do both at one point, especially when he won at Payback. I didn't think he was going to lose to uh, Owens the night after, but he did. Sorry, two nights after, he did. It's good. That will definitely write him off TV now for a while. I hope he comes back. He probably will. Um, and I hope, yeah, definitely hope he does. But now it makes Jericho... Um, it doesn't make Jericho look weak or anything because he got the win at Payback and lost. So if that makes it okay. Uh, Owens looks good again. He has a belt, uh, a good belt. Hopefully he can make it prestigious. He definitely will be prestigious. It will be a million times more prestigious than what is meant to be the most pre prestigious belt on the show, which is the WWE Championship, which is currently in the well, currently held, held by, by the boring one himself, Randy Orton. But yeah, I think the US Champ feud is going to be far more entertaining and far more better than whatever Randy's doing. That aside, I'm a big fan of Jinder. Hope he wins a backlash. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, SmackDown was good, not not the best. Raw, for once, kind of uh, kind of did well. Better than SmackDown. Better than SmackDown, I want to say. Maybe a bit better than SmackDown. Maybe a bit better than SmackDown. But anyway, yeah. We're going to end this game here. We'll end the episode as well. Thank you guys for watching it. If you have enjoyed it, do drop a like on the video. That is very much appreciated, as usual. Uh, I'll be streaming later on today. At what time? I don't know. It'll probably be quite late in the evening, uh, for me at least, because um, I want to kind of stream when Battleground starts. So I'm pretty sure it's like seven hours till it begins. So just note about... in in, in What time is it right now? It's, it's almost three in the afternoon, at around nine o'clock, ten o'clock my time. Uh, so ten o'clock, nine o'clock p.m. Uh, European time will probably be starting the stream. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Do drop a like. Take care. Most importantly, peace. Let's get our five picks before in before we get a WrestleMania pool. And before we weigh on the network. Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we that'd be such a cool ending to the video? Oh I'll, I'll take an elite line. That's our second elite manager pool. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care guys. Bye.